What if I told you about an ecosystem that supports an array of wildlife, purifies our water, and even combats climate change by storing carbon? You'd think we'd go to great lengths to protect this, right? Well, what if I also told you that in Ontario, only a mere 3% of this ecosystem remains? That's right, the vast benefits it once provided are swiftly diminishing. This ecosystem is the grasslands of Ontario. And that's exactly why initiatives like the Glen Orkey Conservation Area are pivotal in reviving what we've nearly lost. So let's dive into how Glen Orkey is breathing new life into these vital grasslands. Grasslands aren't just open spaces, they're bustling communities. These areas are crucial for wildlife, offering habitat for species like Eastern Meadowlark and the Savannah Sparrow. They keep our water clean by filtering pollutants and help regulate our climate by sequestering carbon. And let's not forget the native species that rely on them for survival and the pollination services that maintain our biodiversity. But despite their importance, grasslands in Ontario are on the decline. Urban development, agricultural expansion, and a lack of general understanding about their value have all played a part. This loss not only impacts wildlife, but also diminishes the ecosystem services that benefit us all. In Oakville, Ontario, the Glen Orkey Conservation Area's 50 hectare grassland restoration stands as a beacon of ecological revival, bringing back a slice of Southern Ontario's once extensive tall grass prairies. To put the size into perspective, imagine around 70 soccer fields of rich, biodiverse grassland where there was once nothing, a significant feat considering less than 3% of these habitats remain. And this restoration breathes new life into the area with a tapestry of native grasses like big blue stem, little blue stem, and Indian grass, taking root alongside a diverse range of wildflowers, including milkweeds and sunflowers. And management of the grasslands includes the use of prescribed burns, a practice deeply rooted in the history of these ecosystems one shaped by natural wildfires and indigenous land management techniques. These controlled burns are essential for the revitalization of the soil and the suppression of invasive species, ensuring the longevity of this rare and precious habitat. So I'm just walking through the grassland area here and I just wanna show you the difference between what the planted grassland or conserved area looks like and then what it looked like before when it was just an agricultural field. So you can see in front of me all the different species they planted, some small shrubs, some small trees, and obviously all the grasses and wildflowers. And then directly on the property line, you can see what it looked like before, an area that's still an active farm field or a degraded farm field. But you can see the habitat and climate differences that this restoration effort is likely making. Just look at how degraded the soil is on these farmlands. You can see that they're cracked and dry and really barren. And this is what happens when they're not tended to for a long time. So areas like these grasslands are so important for building the soil back up again. So why should you care about establishing lost ecosystems like grasslands? because restoring these areas is restoring the backbone of our environment. I encourage you to find out what ecosystems are disappearing near you and see what you can do to help. Every action definitely counts. So if you found this video interesting and wanna hear more stories about environmental efforts, hit that like button and subscribe for new videos every Monday and Thursday. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next one.